You know, I think one of the things that a lot of people don't know about Malaysia, we have a history of people have coming from all over the world. So we have the traditions from uh, indigenous uh, people of Malaysia. We also have uh, traditions from India, traditions from China. I think this actually is a, it's a good cauldron for making art. Performances happen in all kinds of spaces, uh, such as this one here, the Annex, which is also home to alternative art festivals, book fairs, arts for grab weekends, performances, music, dance. Then there's the National Theatre, of course. There are theatres like the old Pangong Bandaraya. Um, there's also the art gallery at uh, Petronas, Hale Pat. There's a theatre on the top of Lot 10 with a lovely rooftop garden. Uh, Sutra Dance House with its beautiful wooden outdoor amphitheatre in a garden. Uh, there's the Temple of Fine Arts in Brickfields, a new art space called Maps on the edge of the city. There are indie filmmakers showing their films in KL wherever they can. <laughs> they are very enterprising and having their films shown in festivals all over the world. And I think this is what makes our work in a way quite different from the work of a lot of other countries. I think that's what makes KL, I think, interesting. For me, this is home. There's no city in the world like Kuala Lumpur, KL. One minute, you could be in the hustle and bustle of it all. Next minute, you could be relaxing, calm and peaceful in one of the very many green parks in the city, such as the KLCC Park. Acres of lush tropical landscape with 1,900 indigenous plants and trees of more than 74 different species. Seriously? One of my favorite places in KL is the Perdana Botanical Park. People know it as the Lake Gardens. Of course, there's lakes and there's a lot of trees. I think there's about 100 over 100 species of different tropical trees. There's the Bird Park, which is amazing. I come here every week. And I think people who come here, they know. And it's packed with families. Of course, in KL, within the city, you can ride horses, which is amazing. And you can do abseiling, you can run, do yoga, do tai chi, you can play games. It's, it's an outdoor paradise. It's beautiful. This park is for everyone. You can go for walks and the next hour you can be right in the center of the city with the Twin Towers. Kale weather is good. I think a lot of people would love to retire here. We are conscious. We care about the environment and we treasure it and we live it. Something about Kale that gives them balance, a sense of balance. Hey Al, my city. Look at this city. Isn't it beautiful? Every time I show my pictures to my friends, everyone seems to know, oh, KL, KL. And every time if I bring anyone from overseas to here, it was the first thing that they want to do is to just hang around here at different angles, just taking photos of the Twin Tower. We love shopping, we have international retailers here and KL is certainly a city that never sleeps. We have really happening clubs, we have clubs that plays all kinds of music. We have karaoke, you can party all the way to the wee hours in the morning. In KL, I feel really, really free. I feel that I can be anyone I want to be. Go out and have a good night out with my friends, eat anything and everything that I want. At practically every corner, you can find not only food, but really, really good food. KL to me is home. You can find anything and everything that you can find. My absolute favorite city in the world, Kuala Lumpur.